All right, what's up, Road to Zion? Another day in the life of uh, Road to Zion Auto and Diesel Repair. We back. As y'all can see, man, I got a product in front of me. It's an engine hoist brought to you by Big Reds Jets. 1,500-pound capacity folded engine stand. This was sent to me from a subscriber on my channel. Shout out to you. You know who you is. They just sent me an a, a offer, man, just to keep something going for the channel, man. Appreciate that, y'all. If y'all want to send me stuff, man, reach out in my comments. I'll let y'all know where to send it to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this together. This actually is coming in handy, man, because I'm doing two engine jobs right now, and one of the engine stands I got already occupied. So this is actually going to bless my game. And it got a 1,500-pound capacity, so that way it's able to hold the engine that I'm about to put on here, which is a... Uh, 6.6 .6 LMM Duramax diesel engine. So I'm gonna see if this thing really has the capability of holding big blocks and diesel engines like it says it does with the uh, 1500 pound capacity. The 6.6 .6 is about 800 to 900 pounds. So this should be sufficient enough to handle that weight. It's, it's almost double in um, the capacity that can hold versus the weight of the motor. So, you know, we're going to test it out, see what's going on, man. Like I said, man, uh, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like, hit the comment button. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram at road to Zion underscore design. And as y'all can see, man, we got some new merch, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole bunch of new stuff on the website. Road to number two, Zion, all one word, dot com. You know, just a little road to Zion, a car enthusiast shirt. We got some uh, different variety of shirts. I think we got about seven to nine new shirts we just dropped, along with sweaters and hoodies. We got the hats, as y'all can see, different type of flavors, different type of color schemes. We also got the skull caps with the leather patches, brought to you by Blade Creation. Go ahead, man. Shout out Blade Creation. If y'all need any leather patchwork, any logo renderings, man, go ahead and tap in with my dude, man. You know, Instagram as well as Facebook. Man, dude, one of the best in the game right now. And he got reasonable prices. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put everything together. And I'm going to probably explain to y'all, you know, uh, the process that I'm going to take to put it together and the tools I'm going to need. And I'm going to probably time lapse me actually putting everything together, man. So y'all know, y'all know the motto over here at, at Road Design. Uh, many hands make light work. Glory to the king. Let's get it. Zion, Zion, Road, Zion, 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 Road, Zion. Cars, trucks, SUVs, even diesel tags. Best mechanic on the planet. Ain't no need to scratch. Every issue with that like a line. Got a problem and D will find it. Pop the hood, we gon' get up inside it. Fix it up, start it up, and then drive it. Brakes, rollers, motors. On a mission to fix the transmission. If it's tainted, then we can replace it. Yeah. Difficult all the way to the basics. Diagnose like a doctor to patient. Uh -huh. Have no worries, relax and be patient. Yeah. You can leave, go and take a vacation. In the hands of the best of the nation. Got that fix, baby, watch how we cook up. Cook and up. we mobile, you know we can pull up. Pull Hit up. the mobile if you need to hook up. Hey, you right by the time that you look up. Facts. Facts. It's your boy Wade Road, man. You already know how them boys coming, man. Shout out to everybody over there at Road Design. If you need mechanical work. All right, Road well, Design, y'all. So we back. We about to get ready to assemble this. Uh, engine stand right here brought to you by Big Race Jack 1500 pound capacity fold the engine stand heavy duty steel construction super strong 1500 pound capacity 33% greater than standard engine stands ball barrel wheels and casters for easy mobility so it's a pro series man it's going to look like this uh, when it's fully built as you can see this is how it's going to look when it's folded up, and so now, now we back. So it comes with uh, all the hardware, as you guys can see. Uh, nice caster wheels. Uh, it comes with an instruction manual as well. I tend not to read the instruction manual. I try to figure everything out on my own. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try to follow along. So that way, <laughs> it don't take me too long to assemble it. So... The tools that I'm going to need are 3 8 ratchet, I'm going to need a 12 millimeter socket, 
a 13 millimeter socket, a 18 millimeter socket, and a 19 millimeter socket. I'm also going to need a 14 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, and an 18 millimeter wrench. And that should do the job. I'm going to time lapse it at this time to actually begin the repair. First thing I'm going to start with is assembling this lower bar with the wheels, then this one. Then I'm going to assemble this one, put this one together, and then everything should be able to go together. The head will be assembled last. So, yeah, let's get it, Road Design, y'all. Hold a lot of that. Zion, Zion, Road Design, Zion, Zion, Road Design. Cars, trucks, SUVs, even diesel tags. Best mechanic on the planet, ain't no need to scratch. No need. Every issue attack like a lion. Nine. Got a problem, and D will find it. Ooh. Pop the hood, we gon' get up inside it. Fix it up, start it up, and then drive it. Brakes, rotors, motors. On a mission to fix the transmission. If it's tainted, then we can replace it. Yo. Difficult all the way to the basics. Diagnose like a doctor to patient. Uh -huh. Have no worries, relax and be patient. Yo. You can leave, go and take a vacation. In the hands of the best of the nation. Got that fix, baby, watch out, we cook up. Cook and up. we mobile, you know we can pull up. Pull Hit up. the mobile if you need to hook up. Hey, you right by the time that you look up. Facts. Facts. It's your boy Wade Road, man. You already know how them boys coming, man. Shout out to everybody over there at Road Design. If you need mechanical work done, make sure you hit them up. If you can't get to them, they'll pull up to your location. Gang. see man it was a pretty easy build out uh, I didn't have to use the instruction manual I just looked at it one time so I can see uh, the direction of these bolts right here that holds the head the arms for the head so that way I can attach it to the back of the engine where the transmission boat up at um, this is the stand pretty much overall I think it's a pretty pretty sturdy and good built piece of equipment so far before I use it uh, they did lack a little bit of luster on the finish. In some areas, I can see where the paint already chipped away. So I'll probably just go and paint it a road design on color. You know what I'm talking about. Try to make it like army fatigue or something. Come up with a little nice design. That'll probably be a future video. Just customizing it or put uh or get some vinyl stickers and put road design on it somewhere. Make it personable. But as y'all can see, this is how it looks fully assembled. Uh, I got these black caps. They're going to go on the end of here. I need to get uh, my 19 millimeter ratchet wrench. So add that to the tools that you're going to need. I'm going to need an 18 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, a three inch drive ratchet or impact. I chose to use a ratchet because I didn't want my impact to uh, damage any of the threads when I'm tightening it up. A 19 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, and a 12. Once I get my uh, 19 millimeter ratchet wrench to tighten up these two front wheels on the inside, I can put these black caps and just pop in on the boot on both sides to seal the bolts and the hardware. Uh, this is the stand fully assembled in the position that it will hold the engine in. And then it is foldable. So you just remove this little C-clip, take out this piece, and you can fold it up like this. Put the clip back through here. Oh, looks like it might not line up with this. Ah, there. It don't quite line up all the way that good. But with a little bit of finagle work, you can get it to line up. And then you can fold it like this and store it in a place in the shop or the garage. In my case, my garage. I'm up here building it right now. Indoors, because I got so many parts laying around in the garage of my tools and stuff. So store it like this whenever it's not in use. So that way you can utilize more space around the garage or shop area. So yeah, man, 
Thanks again for my subscriber who sent me this big red 1500 pound capacity engine stand, man. It really came in handy, man. And again, if any one of y'all want to send Rogers on y'all any products, any gifts, anything to show y'all appreciation for the channel and the content we put out, man, you can message me on Instagram at road, the number two underscore design. And I can shoot you over all the information you'll need so that way we can get your products, man. Many hands make light work. Thanks again for joining us. Make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe button, drop comments in, man. Let me know what y'all think about the video we did, what other type of videos y'all want to see from the channel, and any other type of content. And don't forget, go ahead and follow us at the merch store, road, the number two, Zion.com, where you can get your shirts, hoodies, sweaters, hats, and we're trying to come out with some stickers and decals for the vehicles as well, man. Let's go. Y'all know what time it is.